Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome to part 10 of Let's Mock Slash Play Slash Do Everything But Die in the original Resident Evil for Sega Saturn. Though it originally came out on PlayStation. So, we drop down the hole. We're going where nobody has probably been bold enough to go or stupid enough to go. You take your pick. And there's a ladder, of course. We have to go down the ladder. We've been over this. You see a ladder, you've got to take it. Ladders always lead to something fun. You know, and Chris, he's a bit of a curious little cat, so. And, oh, but before we take it out, the zombie that is, we are going to pick up some shotgun shells that I remembered being over here. It's odd, you know, even after having not played this in so long, there's certain ran the most random things you just don't forget. But then the things that I should remember, <laughs> anyway. So these guys are really, they're beyond a joke. You know, after dealing with the hunters, zombies are probably the least intimidating thing in the world right now. You know, they basically look like just giant teddy bears to me. I'm not really worried about them. Teddy bears with blood on their cheeks. And, hey, you guys ordered a pizza and didn't, oh, sorry, I thought you, I thought you guys ordered a pizza and you, you help yourselves. I want no part of that. Though really I shouldn't mess with pizza. I think I've developed a bit of a lactose intolerance, which is which is hard to accept because you know pizza was sort of my other food group. After the the other ones, what are the other ones? Oh yeah, pizza, pizza, and pizza. Yeah. Um, take the small key. Yes, please. Usually when you get a small key, you're going to be using it really soon. So, oh. Okay, what is this? Whatever it is, uh, okay, I was about to say, <laughs> forgot how to turn the doorknob, but there you go. Okay, it's not a hunter, obviously. It's too slow. Oh, okay, it's a zombie. Much ado about really nothing. And that was a strange little uh, video glitch there. I don't know what caused that. Something with recording software lately, it's been causing some oddities. Don't know what it is, but we'll leave it in. We're going to come up here first because I think there is a door that I want to see about. An elevator here that, of course, doesn't stop on this floor because we can't have convenience. Okay, what door do we unlock? Let's check it out, guys. This looks important, double doors. You don't just put double doors anywhere now. And finally, that mystery is solved. And listen, you hear that? Let's have a little fun. Ah! <laughs> Too slow. <laughs> it would have served me right if he got me, though. <laughs> uh, nothing like dangling the carrot that is my body in front of the hunters. Ah, never gonna get it, never gonna get it, never gonna get me, never gonna get me, never gonna get me. Ah, whoa, whoa, whoa. Except when you do, but we won't talk about that. And, ooh, how's that for a close-up? <laughs> Looking a little woozy there, Fred. Uh, when was the last time you had a drink of water? Oh, I was trying to sneak by him. So I get for a gloating. Thankfully, their head is about as firm as a month-old avocado, so, you know, our military-grade boots is all it takes. Make some pasta. You know, it's funny. I'm usually not one for blood and gore. Not because I'm squeamish or sensitive to it. I just, I, it doesn't bother me in that way, but I just don't care for it, you know. I very much... I'm a firm believer that blood is meant to remain inside and not on the outside, but I don't know, Resident Evil is so campy, I think it's easy for me to still enjoy it. Plus again, this is a relic to me. This was back before blood and gore was just so ubiquitous on the scene, so it was really more of a novelty back then. So, again, this is before Mortal Kombat was, you know, pretty tame. 
which because it is tame by today's standards and i don't know about the recent entries i haven't kept up with it last mortal kombat game i played was three or four so yeah i really don't know what's going on there anymore probably still a guy named scorpio hanging around Liu Kang, sonya blade other than that i i don't know i'm guessing at that point for all i know they got a completely new cast but i doubt it that would be like the new street fighter game that didn't have ryu in there did anybody else call him Ryu back in the day growing up? Because, you know, if you were in America, because in America we have trouble sometimes pronouncing foreign names or, you know, we hear foreign names pronounced the wrong way and it just sticks for the longest time. But yeah, where I lived, everybody called him Ryu because we didn't know how to accent Japanese letters and characters. So, yeah, but no, Ryu is Ryu many years until I learned that and that's one of the positive benefits of the internet is you can find these things out at a much quicker rate so yeah for all the nonsense that goes on over the web there is some useful information to be had if knowing how to properly pronounce a fictional video game character's name could be considered such so there's a switch here that we're gonna mess with in a minute very simple puzzle here actually I'm taking a lot longer than I need to so I was debating to see if I needed to go around without you know getting this stuck into a wall or not being able to push it all the way but nope nope I should be fine if I can adapt to the take controls you know I have my lapses here and there where I struggle with them and then I have my moments where you know no problems at all so let's let's aim for the ladder shall we no problems at all so somehow planting that statue over the spotlight opens up this not a door I would assume there's a switch play underneath the floor there and we pick up a mo disc one of a set of three what do those do well if you don't know stay tuned you'll find out shortly Many books there. Chris isn't interested, of course. Reading? Pah! What's Chris look like reading? We're getting out of here. We're gonna leave that zombie hiding out there, playing hide and seek with himself. Or herself, but all the zombies here look male, so. I guessed. I guess Umbrella was a very sexist company to work for. Didn't hire a lot of women, it looks like, because you don't see any women zombies in this game at all. I think that was rectified in Resident Evil 2. It's been a while. It's been even longer since I played that one. And look, if I could contact the other members from there, I don't know. I wouldn't miss Facebook as much. Talking about Chris, not me. I, I'm not a Facebooker, if that's a thing. I, I don't know what they call it, but no, I don't. I don't really. It's not really my my bag. Not knocking it for you if it is your thing, but no, not mine. But no, so now we have an objective. Get to the heliport. Send out a signal. Get on our knees and pray for salvation. Because it's not coming in this mansion. Oh no, this place is beyond over the hill. There's no saving it. We... There's really nothing for us to do here. Whatever our mission was, I think it's safe to say it was a bust. Like, a big bust. And we gotta go. We gots to go. Like yesterday. So, zombie, you're in my way. I do apologize. And it could just be my imagination, but it doesn't even seem like they're taking as many hits lately. Again, after dealing with hunters, this is really easy mode. Sadly, this is not the remainder of the game. We will be fighting more hunters and other things that aren't pleasant. So let's just enjoy this brief refrain while we can. Picking up extra shotgun shells always helps with that. The enjoyment factor, I mean. <sighs> it certainly makes the day easier. Basically just using that up to get more space. And now with this battery, we can access the elevator in the courtyard which I never even took the time to examine because I just remembered instinctively that I couldn't do anything with it so 
I didn't even bother with that. Plus there were dogs over there and yeah, they were probably going to cause us some trouble. So now back up, going to play it close here, but again, I'm not really concerned because you guys are kind of a laughing matter. And, yes, even more zombies. Remember when close quarters combat with them was, you know, a problem? It was a hassle? It was a hurdle? Well, I don't know. I, I'm feeling like Michael Phelps right now because it's really not a hassle. There's no obstacle we can't cross here. They're really wasting their time at this point, but... I guess they've got nothing but time, huh? Time and teeth. And that door is locked. I don't know what's the point of it there. As far as I know, there's no way to get back around here. And that was me being careless, running right into him. I guess Chris really needed a hug. Forgot who he was dealing with. That was on me, though. And I tried to pick this up, but forgot that fast. I don't have room, so... We're just going to have to leave those by the wayside, I think. I can't see myself backtracking to pick those up. I still have all these first aid sprays I haven't used, so I think we're doing good for health. The next section after the courtyard is probably the toughest area in the game for me. It always has been. That'll probably be me using the most health items. Potentially. If I get through that area, it'll be smooth sailing for the most part from there. Even the final boss is nothing compared to that area and you'll see why soon enough i don't know if everybody has trouble with this particular section but i always have and seeing as how i'm still kind of rusty i'm yeah it's gonna be fun so probably won't get to it in time for this episode the next one for sure gonna be front and center and yeah we're just gonna leave him alone i don't know he can brush up on his culinary skills while he's down here fix him up some brain stew some mashed nails I don't know what's what would zombies consider a delicacy you know to be honest I'd really rather not know so we're gonna go back through here now that we have the battery which was the whole point of that we got everything we need, so we're going to head back to the courtyard. See if we can avoid this hunter. Oh, not completely. And I don't know why they felt the need to put two in there, but they did. Good job, guys. Thanks, but I don't want any. And thankfully, this hall is always safe. You never have to worry about fighting anything there, at least not on the lower level. By the way, I like how the music got more tense after the hunter's appearance and don't mind the jump cut this is purely an optional area i just wanted to show this off for those who weren't aware this was opened up way back with i think the armor key i just never bothered to go in here so interesting little room here nice little centerpiece there i have a small key that i've been saving all this time for this desk because we can never have enough shotgun shells you know not in a place like this, at least. And we're going in this room. Now, fun thing about waiting late in the game. If you go in here earlier on before the hunters, you know, pre-hunter, there will be a zombie or two around here. But if you want to save yourself some hassle and some ammo, you can just come back here now and there's no enemies. Picked up a couple of ink ribbons, not that they're needed. Some medical herbs, though, to be honest, not really needed either, but I will take those. But there's something else in here that we really can't do anything with, but you don't have the key for this room. Isn't that strange to you? 
normally when the door is locked it'll say it's locked and it'll imply the type of key needed to open it up so that means basically we cannot open that door whatsoever yet and there was a handgun clip here I did pick that up off screen so just keep that in mind by the mirror handgun clip again if I can I will show that off in a bonus video what that key might be how to obtain it what it can do so yeah another jump cut here just to save some time we're back in the courtyard area which is where we really want to be if you remember I left the hunter alive in here so let's see if I can slip past this one and whew, that was close yeah they really don't muck about do they but neither do we so you know Chris brought his A game today we're not afraid well, maybe a little bit, but shh. Don't want to let them know, because they, they pick up on that. Again, keep your fears to yourself. Reduces the number of things out there that will be looking to prey on them. Now, these guys, I'm not scared of at all, because... Man, <laughs> did you see that dog? Man, that dog's got some ups. Did you see that dog get up? Man, wasn't messing around. Was out for me, but couldn't get me. Maybe next time. Yeah, see, I, I really, I really don't like even fighting the dogs because I, I know they're undead dogs, and it's probably doing them a service to end them. But I, they're still dogs. I feel bad about it. Only when I need to. So it's going to be a bit of run around here. We're going to have to go around. Avoid you. Avoid you. That pad there is where we're going to go ultimately. But first, we want to put the battery in the socket. Like so. And that will open up this. <coughs> not open it up give it power same difference and of course there's one right there and sadly I don't think I can avoid him without taking it in, so <sighs> sorry Buster this is the end again and yep heard you coming a mile away it's been fun, guys. I left you undead as long as I could. <laughs> Those blue herbs will be there for eternity. But they do add to the scenery. Well, they kind of stick out like a sore thumb, actually. But ooh. That was a good, honest effort. I bet it was that same dog from before. The Jumper. Yeah, we're going to call you Jumper. So, there will be Jumper. We will leave him around. Again, I'd probably be helping him out just to take them out, but... I don't have the heart right now. Okay, so here's the puzzle. That's not really a puzzle. We're going to use the crank again to bring the water back up. No cutscene this time. I guess they said, eh. Eh. And... Ooh. Not quite transparencies, 1996-ish.